Hello, my darlings. My name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. I'm going to do your daily mini reading for you. I'm using my Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle for those of you that wish to know. Uh, a beautiful deck. I haven't used it very much. It sort of reminds me on the back here of As Above, Down Below and Realms, obviously, at the spiritual realms that we cannot see but that are there. So this is the wisdom of the hidden realms. So what wisdom does spirit have for you today? For those that are resonating will, will, will resonate with this reading. And if you do, darling, you're simply remembering what you already know within your soul. And for those that this reading doesn't resonate with, it simply means it wasn't for you at this time. There'll always be a reading out there for you at exactly the right time as guided by spirit. As ever, I am so grateful for all of your subscribes, for your likes, for your comments. Thank you so much, my darlings. It's a beautiful exchange of energy. And if you wish to have a reading with me, all of the details are in the description box below. So let's see what wants to come out for you. That one wanted to come out. What have we got here? We've got the Ice Queen. Okay and that is ideas preserved non-action and entitlement oh and i was mentioned to the bottom of the deck so i'm going to stop right there and we have got the cosmos creativity and vastness i'm going to talk about the cosmos first of all let me put these cards over here and uh let's move ahead with the reading so the cosmos and the ice queen so the cosmos is another word for the universe, as you know, and it's and it says here the vastness and creativity. So for those of you that this re reading will resonate, do listen to the message I gave um, last week where I talked about letting things happen by itself. Um, what I'm thinking about when I'm seeing this cosmos, because cosmos is the universe, the universe is the, os um, the universe is the omniverse, the omniverse is all there is arranged in a beautiful pattern, a rhythmical pattern, a metrical pattern, is I bought, um, was it a couple of days ago, I bought some cosmos flowers and they're called the cosmos because everything is arranged very beautifully, very harmoniously. And with that harmonious sort of pattern, it's lovely to look at. It's lovely to admire as well. So there is a, um, how do I say the spirit? There is an order to it. There's an orderly arrangement to the flowers. So let me just show you this card again. You've got here the moon looking down at what, you know, I'm so sorry about um, one of my dogs snoring. You've got the moon here looking down at this town, which is a sort of mixture of all sorts of things, but everything sort of works together. Everything is orderly. Everything works together. So there is what Spirit is saying with this card. There is harmony in the natural order of things. There's harmony in the natural flow of things. There's harmony in the laws of the universe. Um, and so it is a reminder for you that when we try to do things sometimes our way and not that lovely Wu way I talk about, which is acting in accordance with the way that things exist, we get this resistance and we get this feeling of frustration as well, of anger, maybe upset and upset too. Um, so, and the cosmos, they're also telling me, um, my talk about, you know, co-creating a lot and doesn't co-creating with the cosmos sound rather wonderful. And when we co-create the cosmos, when we co-create with the universe, we are creating understanding that we're doing it in partnership with and as a partner we trust the other person and we know what they can bring to the table and you know what the universe can bring to the table if you trust it and you are being asked to to have that trust and to to create within the natural order of things to create with the natural flow of things um and uh and i come back to letting it happen you know, by itself as well. And I remember talking last week about spirit gave me when we have them beautiful synchronicities or coincidences and things, actually we are co-creating incidences with the universe because we are in a high vibration and we are allowing it to flow. So within that space, spirit is asking you at this time to be mindful. Oh, my light is going to be mindful of, um, just pop you there to be mindful of what you're thinking and saying and doing right now remember all of those things you are creating a vibration from that we are all 
in vibrational relationship to everything else around us. And we can either be in accord or discord with that. So think, just take a moment to think about where you may be in vibrational discord to something and how, and you'll know that from how it's making you feel. And then try and take the right steps, the right remedies to uh to because you've got this ice queen here which i'm about to come on which actually is a really exciting card it may not sound one but it, for me it is an exciting card it might just allow things to start to move again bearing in mind the ice so you know what at the mo this moment in time with this cosmos what is affecting your reality what is affecting your feelings what is affecting your thoughts and your actions and your words is are they more negative than they are positive at this time? And that's potentially why the Ice Queen card has come out in terms of just a little pause for you at this time while you go through that reflection. And the moon represents that uh, necessity to follow those impulses, those creative impulses that you have at this time, but just to be still and quiet when you find yourself maybe following other impulses that are causing you to react to situations at this time. And the other thing about the cosmos here, and it uses the word vastness, is there is an extraordinary thing that when we trust in the universe and God and the omniverse and the cosmos, we're trusting in the infinite possibilities that can come in for us when we trust and we have faith that actually the next steps forward into the unknown are going to bring in those opportunities. When we walk, we have complete and utter faith, don't we, that the ground is going to meet us. And so the universe is asking you to have that same trust as you take steps forward, just like you do in your, in our physical reality, we're stepping forward, but not trusting that the ground's going to fall away beneath us. Trust that the universe has got you on this as well. And focus now your energy, which is you are always energy in motion with your emotions. Focus that energy on your creative expression. Spirit wants you to focus on your creativity. There's been an awful lot of readings at this time I've been doing about that. So this is obviously a message that Spirit wants to um, reaffirm to those that this reading is resonating with. And then we've got um, the Ice Queen. OK, so she's sleeping there and it says here ideas preserved, non-action and entitlement. So ice, first of all, ice is an interesting um, sort of symbolism because ice is water, water is emotions. And when ice forms, it means that the water is rigid. It's not moving anywhere. So um, and they've sort of they've quite funny spirit with this because they they're giving me all sorts of different, um, it's almost like a jigsaw puzzle of, of things to tell you that all sort of fall together. But um, when we are rigid, okay, in our approach to handling things, that is the ice, okay? So, so try and be more fluid in your approach and allow things to happen as opposed to being very rigid and focusing on just one one way of doing something so have a think have a think about that um and it's also saying about because if you rush on ice don't you 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 you, you can fall over you can slip so it's about not rushing forward it talks here about non-action so it is not a time for a great deal of action at this time other than your creative inspiration and expression because i feel that there is she's sleeping in this card you're tired. Uh, and, and with that tiredness is a, uh, a sense of needing some deep rest at the moment. And non-action is required. And when you are in a place of peaceful rest, it also means, and there's not a lot you can do about it, it means that you're being protected at this time. So I feel that you're trying to do too much at this time. And when we try and do too much, I always come back to that sort of control or delete thing where our computer has, has too many tabs open and, um, and it starts to buffer. So you may be finding that you are beginning to suffer emotionally and maybe physically from trying to do too much at this time. And spirit is also saying to me um, that lovely expression, sort of, you know, cool as a cucumber, cool as ice. So you, you're very good. You remain calm under pressure. So there is no rush needed at this time to try and resolve things. You know, it is take that step back and step into that place where you can objectively look at something um, and 
review it and understand it before making those next careful steps forward. But also with this ideas preserved and non-action, I'm guessing that maybe sometimes when we take action over and over again and we get the same results, then maybe spirit is asking you to perhaps look at another way of doing something at this time. And uh, ideas preserved, isn't that beautiful? So ice preserves things. So spirit is saying there is no rush because those ideas are not going to go away. Those ideas, those inspired thoughts, all source energy, all coming from your soul, they're not going to go away. They're there for you. But maybe it's not quite the right time for some of them to, to mature. Okay, so focus on what is most important for you at this time. Um, and it's also a time for, because where we have ice um, in our world, in our universe, it tends to be those parts of the world that are unexplored, uh, that are a little bit, you know, it's not so easy to get there. It's a little dangerous to do. So Spirit is saying it's, if you feel that you're sort of still within your comfort zone, then there are areas of yourself that you have yet to explore. There are areas where you may have skills and gifts that at this time you may be unaware of because you haven't yet explored them. And maybe that's why this ideas preserved. Those ideas need to be preserved at this time because there are other elements of your talents and skills and things that are going to come forward for you at the right time in order for this idea or ideas that are being preserved to be the most delicious. It's like taking off a jar of jam or preserve, isn't it? Um, so they're saying put it on ice at the moment because there are other things at play here. And I go back to the vastness of the cosmos, the infinite possibilities that, that, that are coming in for you. So just a reminder, don't be too hasty because if you rush, you could fall over on this ice and look, my light's about to fall over and I'm just gonna pop it back up again. Um, so, um, and I'm also being guided to look at the number 28 in this card. And so 28, two and eight is, um, two is about decisions you've already made from a, a level you may or may not be aware of, but it's about decisions uh, that you're making and, and it's about how you are cooperating with those, those decisions. Are you cooperating with the universe, with the cosmos? Are you co-creating with the universe, with the cosmos at this time? Are you trying to do it purely your way and getting in your own way by doing it? And eight, the infinite number of eight, talks about abundance for you. So when you look that you are truly trusting that you are co-creating with spirit, you are co-creating with the cosmos, you are co-creating incidences, coincidences for yourself, then you allow that flow of abundance uh, to come in for you. And the other word in here, which is sort of a, a reminder for us all is the word entitlement. Um, we are not entitled to anything. We do not own anything. We should not have any demand for something permanent in our life because it only causes us unhappiness because everything is fluid. Everything is evolving. Everything is changing all the time. Look at your life, where you were and where you are now. There is constant evolution and it is for our soul. It is for our soul to remember, to become more and more aware of who it is. And it is because it is itself. It is part of the universe. So um, when we have that demand for something permanent in our life, whether it be happiness or money or success or a person, that demand for that permanence is causing unhappiness, um, causing it to, causing also an awful lot of energy, trying to control something to keep it in our lives, causes a lot of energy uh, um, that we that, that we shouldn't really be giving it energy to, because if we allow it just to attach from it and let go of it, if it's meant to be with us, it will. If it's not, it's not. We just go with that beautiful natural flow. And if you think about it, you know, we come into this world with nothing and we leave with nothing. So nothing, no thing, it's a very amazing word, nothing. No thing is ours. We are all of it, but no thing is ours um, because we are actually the I am and the I am is experiencing. And it is only the... Uh, identity side of ourselves, the personality side of ourselves, the ego side of ourselves that says we are 
one thing and that we can have this this and this and it's ours that's the non-aware state of us that's always there within us as human beings so um go with the flow and i'm also getting the words tip of the iceberg this is the tip of the iceberg at this time there is great wisdom here you can see with the owl the beautiful snowy owl um and i've been asked for some of you that this is resonating with that you that to look up the snowy owl for yourselves and see what comes out um but there is great wisdom sometimes in not doing anything. There is great control in not doing anything at all. You know, we sometimes cannot, and nor should we, look to control everything uh, around us, but how we control how we respond to it is the most beautiful thing. And so that spirit is saying at this time, non-action is needed at this time. Let go of the need to try and hold on to this, make it yours. Mm -hmm let the cosmos the vastness the infinite possibilities that are there waiting for you let this resolve within the natural order of things because then there will be harmony there will be harmony in your life so i hope that has helped those of this reading has resonated with i look forward to doing another reading tomorrow um oh i'm matching my little satsumari things i've just noticed my new jumper with its with its little pink stars on um and I look forward to doing you another reading tomorrow. And in the meantime, have a very beautiful weekend and lots of love to you. Take care, my darlings. Bye-bye.